Hello friends, welcome back to automation testing .com. This is Selenium WebDriver part 75 and today I'm going to talk about the third part of continuous integration and Jenkins and this is the last part of Jenkins as well. So let me show you what we are going to discuss today. So we'll talk about scenario 4 today where we'll see the integration of Maven project, Maven GitHub project with Jenkins and I'll show you how we can publish testNG report, how we can publish extent report and I'll show you how we can send the email through Jenkins how we can send the email with an attachment and how periodically we can run our job in Jenkins okay so we'll talk about all these uh, today in scenario 4 and before that we have discussed scenario uh, 1 2 3 in the first video we talked about a simple Java project simple project how we can integrate with Jenkins and how we can run the project using a batch file okay in the next video we talked about how we can integrate in scenario 2 in the second video how we can integrate Maven project into Jenkins okay and in the in the scenario 3 we talked about how we can integrate Maven github project in Jenkins and how we can set the parameters in Jenkins and how we can pass the parameters so this is what we have seen so far scenario 1 2 3 now we'll concentrate scenario 4 today okay so let me start my Jenkins servers first so I'll go to command prompt and I'll type command java hyphen jar and I'll drag my var file over here and if you remember we are running our uh, Jenkins on port 8082 so simply press enter now so it will take some time and then server will start and guys if you remember earlier we have created a project called extend demo okay uh, when we discussed about extend uh, topic extend report topic so this is the existing project I am going to take uh, will integrate in Jenkins today so let me have a look and this project is already uh, available in github okay. here you can see the cylindrical uh, cylindrical uh, cylinder uh, mark okay now here you can see Jenkins is fully up and running now simply go to browser and type localhost 8082 So simply I need to just log in in Jenkins click on sign in and I'll sign in to my github account as well Yeah, so last uh, three times, I mean last two videos, we have created three projects, demo two, demo three, and simple project, sample project, okay. And this is my GitHub. And extent report. Let me have a look. Yeah, this is the the project extend demo. So this is the same project which we have in Eclipse. So this is the project, okay. And uh, to perform all these activities, we need to configure some of the plugins, okay. I mean some of the settings we have to do in in our Jenkins, okay. So first of all, what I'll do, I'll create a project, uh, what you can say, job. So what I'll do, I'll give demo three this time and I'll select Maven project click on OK demo 3 is already exist I'll give demo 4 and select Maven project click on OK let's set up everything whatever we have test ng report extent report so it's taking time 
so here I can give some description this is this is demo 4 and coming down and we are getting uh, source code management will give github because we are getting the project from github so I'll give the github URL from here so this is the github URL and these are the credentials of my github account so this is done next is come to here pom.xml so instead of uh, only pom.xml we have to provide from here let me tell you just click on this so here we have pom.xml file okay so we have to take from here extend demo this is the this is the name of repository and from here you have to take so this is the the main project we have and inside that we have pom.xml so you have to take this like this and forward slash and goals and goals and options i'll give clean install last time we have given and this project since we do not have any parameters let me show you the bees class so here we don't have any parameters over here okay so directly we are running our test on chrome browser only and we are navigating to this url so simply provide this clean and install last time we have given parameters over here passing the parameters okay so simply you just give clean and install command now uh, so far it is done we'll add a post build action okay so here when you click over here you will see publish publish html reports okay publish test engine results as well so let's configure test engine results so we'll keep this as as it is so it will pick automatically and to publish html report we have this plugin if you remember last time we have installed all the plugins i think i have not listed down over here so last time if you see the last video we have installed all the plugins so already we have uh, i mean installed all the plugins so that's why i'm able to see this publish html report so i'll click over here one second what happened publish html sorry we have to go to advance Yeah, this is the uh, HTML reports publish HTML reports okay so here I need to give the path of my extent report so text test output and we, here we have extent report so till here we have to give the path from extend demo so that is the root directory so here we need to just copy like this okay and here we have to give the uh, the file name so my report is my report dot html so simply I'll give my report dot html okay so this is the file uh, extent report my report dot html and the report title you can give extent report extent report sorry report is already there extent report so this is done and the test engine result is also done uh, what else remaining now simply click on apply and save so we have done so far test engine report and extent report now we have to set for email so how to set so first of all we have to set the system level settings okay so just click on this rectangle uh, triangle okay and here we have manage Jenkins and we have configure system so just click on that we have to set the email configuration for admin user and then uh, at project level we have to set at build level the job level okay so it is taking time guys so yeah this is the 
configured setting con uh, i mean configuration and uh, system admin email address will give we can configure my name over here i can give like itendra over here the system admin email address and we'll get one plugin over here all these are not required yeah extended email notification here you can see extended email notification so here we have to set the smtp server so i'm going to use gmail so simply i'll give smtp dot gmail dot com so this is the smtp server for gmail and i'll click on advance and uh, we have to click on this use smtp authentication and here we have to provide the username so the admin user email id okay so then the roman 22 12 85 gmail.com this is my gmail id so make sure everything is correct okay and we have to provide the password and simply select this use ssl and uh, the uh, port smtp port for gmail is 465 so i think this is done smtp server within the verma 22 everything is fine this is not required and here we can set the this is the uh, uh, what you can say body of the email so here we can set the default content so i'll say like hi team please find the automation automation report below please find the automation report simply let's write like this and uh, i'll give thanks thank you and i'll give my name over here and this will give the project name and the build number and the build status whether it is fail pass or whatever and what i'll do what is the next we have to set this one as well the same settings which we have done so smtp.gmail.com and uh, we need to just check this one simply copy from previous setting and password as well enter the password use ssl smt smtp port is 465 this is not required one more thing i forgot to add uh, default email suffix we can say like gmail at the rate gmail.com i think everything is fine now yeah here also you add gmail.com at the rate gmail.com everything is done now let's test this whether it is working or not so we have this test configuration by sending test email so i'll check this one and i'll put another gmail account okay so i have another gmail so let me try to test with this one whether we are sending the email or not so test configuration click on that so here you can see the email was successfully sent already i have logged in with my email so here you can see this is I think we should receive here. Yeah, here you can see test email one. So this is how you can test the configuration. So it is perfectly fine. I'll click on apply and save it. Okay. So the email config configuration is fine at uh, uh, system level. Now yeah, this is our project, right? So demo four. So just click on that and again go to configure. We have to set the configuration at job level as well. Now let's do one thing. Not here. 
add post bill action again choose uh, this editable email notification so just select that and uh, here we'll write recipient address so tendravarma22 at the red gmail dot com the second gmail uh, my gmail ad address okay so i'll put it over here hitendravarma22 at the red gmail dot com and all these are not required and here we need to click on advanced settings and if you go come below uh, add trigger we have to select you can click uh, cancel over here and uh, oh, this is also not required add trigger so we'll select always always and developer is not required click on advance and here I'll put recipient again and uh, what I'll give so this content is fine now we are going to attach we can give the attachment over here so simply i'll give the attachment uh, of my extent report so what i'll give so yeah i will copy from here i'll give the attachment like this and my report dot html okay so this is the extent report my report dot html and i'll select attach build log as well one second yeah attach build log as well so it will attach along with the extent report so this is done now i'll click on apply and save now let me just check the configuration again at uh, project i mean job level so this is configure you click on that So this is my GitHub URL. This is fine, and uh, this is the pom.xml. So it will copy the pom.xml. I mean, it will read the pom.xml from uh, this root directory. This is the project directory, project folder, and inside that we have pom.xml. So simply I have given extend demo slash pom.xml, and this is my uh, extend report directory extent report inside that we have this file my report dot html and this will be this is for uh, test ng results and this for email we have given the recipient address over here and yeah this is done advanced settings we have this recipient over here as well and this is the attachment so everything is done guys so i'll click apply and save now we can run our build so let me build it build now we'll see whether uh, it is working fine or not i'll go to console so it will pick the project from github here you can see github.com extend demo rep uh, report demo this is my project now so far it is looking good let's have a look whether it is working or not now our command is getting executed clean install you can see here the maven process started now uh, the test are started uh, okay the execution starts here you can see chrome driver was successfully started successfully so this is for uh, i think we have three test cases in this project so i refer that project previously and uh, yeah using github also i'll provide the link in the description box of this video and i'll write post also probably when i publish this video at that time i'll write the blog as well on this uh, on jenkins so you can get the report from there as well I mean uh, the project so something is wrong that is not working so probably maybe one or two cases will be failed so that is fine uh, the, our, our main target is to run the project in Jenkins and generate all the reports 
so here you can see we have three test cases one failure errors is zero so everything is fine let's see whether uh, build is success the configuration and everything is correct guys so that's why we got uh, this build success and it is sending the email as well here you can see collecting the data and finished and unstable the build is unstable unstable okay now what we are going to do yeah we'll, we can see the results now so let's have a look at the email whether we get the email or not yeah, so this is the recipient email so here you can see guys the beautiful report we got I mean uh, the email like hire team which we have given at uh, system level hire team please find the automation report and demo 4 this is the project name demo 4 build 1 and that is unstable because we got one failed test case right so that's why it is unstable and thank you Hitendra my name and here you can see my report.html and build.log build .log is also attached now we'll see the report here back to project so here we have let's have a look the test engine results first so if you click one second click on this build one yeah so this is how you can see the ex test engine results so this is what the exertion error we got expected orange hrm but we found this one I think we are not able to log in into the application right now it is down so that's why we got uh, I mean a uh, different title so that's fine we got uh, the failed test case that's fine so this is how you can see the uh, test engine results I'm more interested towards uh, extent report okay so just click on this extent report now here you can see it is coming in this format guys so this is not at all readable so how to resolve this issue right so what you can do here is let me do one thing let me stop the Jenkins for now and what I'll do I have command I have written over here some commands so if you uh, start the Jenkins with this command then the, you will not face the problem with extent report so let's do that so what I'll do I'll create one file over here Jenkins and uh, yeah on this and simply I'll put the entire command over here but we need to change the path of this Jenkins var so this is simple command guys you have uh, this java hyphen d and this is the command you have to write over here okay and uh, this hudson model command you have to write over here and hyphen hyphen jar and then this is the path of var so let me get the jar file press shift and we have copy as path just navigate to this file like this put it over here and we are running Jenkins on 8082 and simply click save as desktop and dot batch file okay dot bat so click on save so here we'll see this Jenkins file is getting created over here and what is this simply close this one now we can start the server from here this batch file Jenkins we can start our Jenkins from here so just click on this why it is not getting something is wrong Achha, we have double quotes over here we have to remove one quotation click on save I think this should be fine now 
let me run it again now here you can see it is running now so let's wait until it gets up and running listed all plugins so I'll provide this command in the in my blog so you can refer this starting the Jenkins is still now here you can see Jenkins is fully up and running now we can go to the browser and please wait while Jenkins is getting ready to work now again we have to re-log in sign in now let's run the project again so here you can see in orange color if everything is success then you will see in uh, green color if you about that uh, about it if it is about it then you can see in black and this is unstable and yeah, this is success so let me run it again build now Now here you can see the build 2 started. Click on console output so you can see the console output. So ultimately our test is executed from form guys. So this is the GitHub account so it will copy the Uh, copy the report from I mean uh, the project from github and then it will pass the forms so Jenkins will create its own workspace and then execute that project now there are a couple of questions we have to do I'll show you what are those configurations regarding extent report Our test is running. So here you can see three test cases, one failure and now it is collecting the data, build is success, the configuration everything is success but uh, it will be like unstable build because of one failure. So unstable you can see and it sends the email. So if you check the email, we'll get the, uh, we got the second email, build 2, still unstable. So because this is the second time, okay. Now what we'll do, let's have a look at the report, extent report, whether it is fine or not this time. Click on extent report. Now here you can see the extent report is fine. Okay, and if you see the login test, we got this test case is failed and this is the assertion error. And if you, remember, if you see here, we don't see attachment. The screenshot is attached, but we don't see any attachment over here. So I'll show you how to uh, do this configuration and this is the project logo guys this is also not showing in correct format so we need to do the configuration at project level uh, in eclipse what we need to do here is uh, just go to go back to demo 4 and here we have workspace the jenkins workspace and click on extend demo or uh, this is the logo and here we have ati png this file 
so we have to copy the path from here workspace jenkins workspace and put in our project so from where uh, we are getting that uh, path so that is there in extend config.xml so that's why i have told you uh, i told you guys that uh, please configure i mean please ref, uh, refer to my previous video on extent report i mean how we have done that project how we have created the uh, different classes how we can we have configured the project okay so here if you see in this configuration extend dot extent hyphen config file so here we have src the uh, i mean image file for uh, logo okay so we need to just change the path from here okay so simply change the path logo and then we have ati.png ati.png so this is the this is done okay and simply i'll click on save and another configuration for uh, for a screenshot right so for a screenshot second let me go to that demo for workspace and where we have that in base class so we are returning the path from this screenshot method guys okay so already i have created this uh, couple of lines of code to return this new path okay so simply i'll put the path over here from jenkins so extend demo we have screenshots screenshot and uh, what is that mm -mm -mm -mm. yeah we have to give this path from here yeah this is fine and we'll put it over here simply put till screenshot okay and yeah the format will take png dot png it will give the file name and uh, it will take the file name and date name okay dot png so this is fine too so two things we have done over here to change the path of the screenshot okay and now we are we are good to go but before that i'll show you one more thing how to run your test periodically okay so let's go back to jenkins go to extend demo our project second back to dashboard and let me go to configure you will understand in couple of minutes when we do check in then how it will because just now we have made the changes in our eclipse project now we have to check in this code into github and then it will be picked by jenkins okay so i'll show you how we can do that how it will be uh, automatically it will run the job from jenkins okay so here we have guys uh, in build triggers we have this option build periodically so if you select this we can schedule our job jobs from here so i'm not going to select this right now what i'm going to do is all scm source code management so select this one and i'll give the cron format five stars over here okay and here you'll see do you really mean every every minute when you say five stars perhaps you mean h and then four uh, stars so if you one second if you select this question mark and here you can see not here if you yeah so what is cron format so to run your test periodically you can specify some format okay so this is called cron format so from here here you can see and i think i have written over here as well so this is how the cron format looks guys so we have five stars so the first one denotes the minutes second one is hours third is day of the month fourth is month and sixth one fifth one is the day of week so this is how we can schedule the job in jenkins 
and these are some examples so build every hour so if you want to build every hour your job then you have to specify h and then 4 star if you want to build every 20 minutes then h by 20 like this so these are some different examples of uh, how we can run our jobs periodically so this is how you can set your cron format now here i have given 5 stars so that means it will uh, it will uh, run the job automatically when we push the changes to github so let's have a look uh, whether uh, it is working fine or not so here i have given 5 stars and click on apply and save uh, do not worry guys i'll uh, create a post in my blog so i'll uh, post uh, related to this cron format as well okay so this is done now what i'll do right now we have two builds over uh, you can see over here right now simply i'll go to my eclipse and simply i'll push the changes to github so team and we have commit i'll give latest or uh, let's say path extent report and screenshot path updated okay, so this is the commit i am giving and simply click on commit and push h verma 22 and this is the password click on login so if if you see as soon as we push the changes to github automatically the job will start from here let's have a look whether it will start the job or not it will take some time i guess i think changes is pushed to github why it is not starting Yeah, here you can see the third job is started automatically I haven't start from my side it starts automatically when we made the changes in uh, when we push the changes to github so this is the uh, the conf continu continuous integration process guy automatically it will pick the new changes from github and it automatically it will run your test your project your script okay so let's go to here and go to console output now it will run as usual what we have uh, done in last two runs okay so this is how you can configure your uh, maven github uh, you can make the connection between maven github and jenkins and you can publish your uh, test engine report you can you can publish your extent report you can send the email you can send the email with an attachment so here you can see we have seen the email with attachment as well my report and this uh, build.log and what else remaining so all done guys for today in this video i'm going to start selenium framework development from scratch so so far we have covered everything in selenium uh, java tutorials we have covered and the selenium tutorials we have covered and we are going to start framework from scratch so if you are new to my channel then i would recommend first go to my channel and uh, yeah you can go to this playlist so this is my channel automation testing insider go to playlist and here we have i have listed on all the topics over here and i, I would suggest if you are new then please go through this java for selenium and this is the selenium web driver step by step so so far we have 73 videos here and these are the separate uh, other playlist excel and data driven framework screenshots logs reports git and github jenkins videos so just navigate to this playlist and you can see all the videos available over here and guys uh, if you are good to go with uh, framework then refer this video 
here I have explained clearly about all the components in a framework selenium framework videos and here I have only one video and that talks about every components in the framework so that would really help when we start the framework from scratch so you can understand that better okay so I would recommend go to this uh, go to this one and if you go to my blog automation testing .com, so all the topics of Java related are covered here Java fundamentals Java oops concept collection framework so everything over here and selenium tutorials are covered over here in selenium tutorial tab and regarding this Jenkins uh, by the time I'll publish this video I'll uh, I'll make sure that uh, I'll write a post on this as well so here you can see Marvin tutorial so I have one link over here for Marvin git and github as well so in the similar way I'll write for Jenkins as well and guys if you are new to my channel then please subscribe it and uh, click on bell icon as well so you'll get the notification for upcoming videos so let me just uh, see the Jenkins whether uh, yeah, we are done and here you can see the last report as well the third here you can see demo 4 build 3 still unstable and here is you can see the report as well so this is how you can send the report to your uh, development team your manager this way and build.log is also there so let me open this build.log so all the logs which we have created I mean uh, when we run the project so all the logs will be listed over here in this file so I'm good for today guys uh, I think if anything is remaining let me just think about it I think all done yeah so in the next video we'll talk about selenium framework development from scratch so thank you guys for watching and I would recommend please subscribe this channel okay so you can learn so many things so after selenium we'll start uh, maybe BDD framework so thank you guys for watching have a nice day have a nice day bye bye